if I wanted to save a drum rack that I built from scratch, say I have a bunch of samples and sounds I load into a drum rack and I want to save it to use later in a new project, um, or just any instrument, it doesn't have to be a drum rack, you can create your own custom sounds and save them in our user library in the browser. If you close all the windows, so the device is in its minimal form, in the top right corner, there's that little device icon. It will automatically save the instrument in the user library. And this is where we can save our own custom devices and instruments and sounds and organize a library of instruments and samples um, that we can just grab and use in other projects later. You can also um, assign folders from your computer to be in the user library to show up right away so you can grab stuff from that and load it into an Ableton project. So I'll save this drum rack and call it like Dan's Big Rack number four or something. And when I save it, you'll notice that it's in this tiered folder structure. So when I save it, it's in the presets folder and the drum rack is an instrument. So it's in the instruments folder and then it says drum rack. So there's Dan's rack number four and I can click and drag that anywhere else I want. So I made a new folder in the user library called my drum racks and I can just click and drag that into that folder if I wanted to. And now it's in there. See, there it is. So this is a great way to organize your sounds and everything um, for future use. I always tell people there's going to be days in the future where you just don't feel inspired or creative and you just hit writer's block. And that's when I suggest going into sound design mode or just organizational mode. And so I suggest going through Ableton's library and just building out your own drum rack from scratch that you can recall later to use or take some of Ableton's instrument presets and just tweaking it using the macro knobs or some other functions to make it your own. And then it'll always be your sound. Nobody else is using it if you mess with it enough. And then you can save it in your user library to pull it out later when you feel creative and inspired and want to work on a track. So when hitting writer's block, sometimes it's better just to take a step away and then come back, but just spend some time creating your own library and organizing your library of sounds to recall in a later project at another time. So there's an update in Ableton Live 10, which is what we're looking at right now. You'll see this thing up here in the browser called Collections. And this is a really nice way to organize your sounds and instruments in your library by color. So if I click on the edit button, now I can select certain colors that I want to coordinate with my folders and sounds and instruments and presets. So I can select the color green and hit done. And now I can right click and rename it whatever I want it to be. Maybe I'll call it drum racks or whatever. And now I can go back to my user library and I can find that drum rack that I had and I can just click and drag that new drum rack I saved and I can drag it into that that new drum racks colored folder and it's still in the user library it didn't go anywhere but now it's actually color coordinated so it's another additional upgrade with Ableton 10 which is kind of nice to organize your stuff I'm colorblind so it really doesn't matter for me but still I highly recommend the more organized you are from the beginning of producing, the better off you're gonna be in the long run. So please, please organize all of your files and stuff and use the user library to your advantage.